kids, it's time for another action-packed episode of Cribs. This week, we're giving you more than you can even imagine with those purveyors of good taste, the gentlemen of Jackass the Movie, with their very own edition of Cribs. First off, coast on over to Cali to check out staple crazy Steve-O and his comrade in crime, Johnny Knoxville. This is Lucifer. This is not the only pussy that brought fleas into this apartment. Next, get your party thong on with Chris Pontius in his, um, palatial pad. So here we have the bedroom. It's where I keep all my costumes. And finally, it's time to head over to the mighty state of Pennsylvania to bang around with Bam Margera and Ryan Dunn. Who's that? It's Muhammad Ali with a boxer. Frank, they were Frank. So don't say we didn't prepare you for this. It's time for the men of Jackass the movie to show you their cribs and maybe a little more. Yeah, dude. Welcome to Casa de Stilo. <laughs> Come on in. This is my roommate, Steve. Here's Johnny. Hi, kids. My other roommate. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this is the living room right here. We do a lot of partying in here. I really like what you <laughs> haven't done with the place. <laughs> I mean, did you, these carpets come stained like this, or is it something you did, or? It generally, the rule is what lands on the floor stays on the floor. <laughs> I, I guess I haven't really gotten around to putting too much art up. Also, one, one other thing I want to handle, the cheetah. A lot of people think I, like, I've got like a, a lot in there, and I don't. Yeah, check it out. I am all balls. This is my diploma from Ringling Brothers Barnum and Billy Clown College. The jackass kid got me fired from the circus. But it's all good. Now things are starting to come together. I finally found a, a condom for the smaller man. That gets as much use as the soap around here. <laughs> Speaking of safe sex, why don't you show him your bedroom? <laughs> <laughs> my bedroom's pretty cool. It yeah. smells good. We should get a blue light and go over his sheets and look at all the stains. <laughs> hey, Steve, you want, you want to just jump out the bed in the night yeah. like that real yeah, quick? Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah, these are all the clothes I own right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, dude, quick. Throw a couple of my face real quick. Yeah. I don't think it's going to work. Just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I stay corrected. <laughs> hey, come check out the bathroom. You know what? I'm not even going in there. Why don't yeah. you take him in the bathroom? <laughs> My roommate, United States Marine, you know, like, he can, like, bounce a quarter on his bed. Let me show you his room. This is my room. Yeah, I can see you were a Marine, and you could really bounce what? a quarter off that bed. <laughs> Hey, he made his damn bed, right? <laughs> this guy's like a neat freak. <laughs> this is Lucifer. This is not the only pussy that brought fleas into this apartment. <laughs> we built this ramp for you guys, you know, like, I didn't think it was possible, but I think, actually, like, I'm starting to believe in it. And your neighbors must love you. Oh, yeah. We've already got our official notice that one more noise complaint and we're evicted. Can I ask you what happened to the refrigerator in here? Yeah, the only way we, the only way we could actually make the ramp work was if we tilted it back. But that's cool because, like, you know, I mean, sometimes the fridge comes open, like, this fridge just shuts itself. It's all stoner food. It's just egos and pizzas and hungry mans <laughs> and cereal. <laughs> oh, my God. This is disgusting, Steve-O. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Ah, dude. <laughs> Ryan Simonetti, right there. There's Ryan. Yeah. Let's do it, dude. All right, I'm taking off. I'm going to go. <laughs> I'm going to go right take on, a shower. 
<laughs> Don't you boys act ugly while I go. Jeez. Let's hit the roof, man. This is my roof. One look off my roof, and you can tell you could not be more in the middle of Hollywood. The good thing about the roof is all the rad bros on it. Uh, yeah, dude. What's up, brother? Fucking, yeah, dude. That's pretty, pretty safe to say that we're living the dream over here. seen my pad and now we're gonna go build some pillars, get evicted, you know. <laughs> I'm gonna buy a house, man. Check back in six months, I might have something to show you. <laughs> cool, man. <laughs> Hello, I'm Bam Margera, and welcome to my crib. So the first room I want to show you is the room that nobody goes in. So now this is my kitchen. This is my mom, and this is Jen, my girlfriend. This is the cleanest this kitchen has ever been, I'll tell you that. <laughs> no, the $90 teapot <laughs> she bought today because she was embarrassed. Look. 80 bucks. This is the real one. Yeah, that makes all the sense. This is the rusty thing. We've had it for 100 years. So this is my editing room, and it's also my favorite room. I've spent 48 hours here before, just locked in this thing, editing. Here's a jackass photo. This is the whole crew right here. And it came broken. I had to go take it and get it um, with all new glass on. So Jen's gonna help me show the upstairs because I can't do it alone. Jen! Hey. Go to Phil's room. This is Phil's desk. This is where he pays my bills. How much money do I have in the bank? How much money do I have in the bank? Quarter of a mil. Right, how you doing that? Look at this, I did this fish hook thing. It's my new deal with Phil. <laughs> Say something about Elvis. Sorry, man. Rock and roll music, what? Basically. It's what? It sprang from that. And what else? Uh, what sprang from that? Gospel, rhythm, and blues, and rock and roll music, basically. Let's show your Elvis memorabilia. Let's show these Elvis pictures. Who's that? Is that him with Muhammad, Muhammad Ali? Ali. Muhammad Ali was a boxer. Right, they were free. Now what, ass? I don't know. Now what? Caught me off guard here. Let me have a seat. Let's show the um, bedroom that we did the uh, fireworks on. Bill! Lay in the bed like how you did with the fireworks wake up. You did it. No, wait, you're gonna get it now. <laughs> now, this is just sad because my room has never been this clean. We got this um, net thing in Christmas, and I don't know if I'm cool with it yet. Kind of, but. It's romantic. You can see that I sleep on the right side of the bed, I sleep on the left. Soft. There's nice velvet on the left, and then there's like. <laughs> My getaway is Element Skateboards pillow on the uh, right. Let's show the uh, skateboards. Whenever I break one, I'll just grab one from this rack. This is my favorite one, because it is. This is my latest one, and it's pink. But pink is punk, or pink is wuss. I can't figure it out. So I have to say this is probably the best part of the house. 
It's seriously ridiculous. Pac-Man, yeah. Frogger, Jungle Hunt, Road Blasters, NBA Jam, Joust, Mortal Kombat, Tetris, and Dig Dug. Now I'm gonna show you Rav's room, and I swear to God, he really sleeps here. Rav, come in here with me. He peed the guest room about seven times, and uh, my parents got so fed up, the Jess bought him a pissy cot, and he sleeps back here, and he can pee it all he wants. He's been here for a month and a half. He's got a nice microwave, and I got a radio, too. This is Rav himself, and he gets paid to just drink and get slapped in the face. Oh, that's what he gets money for. So this is the other part of my basement. And I got two quarter pipes on each side. So whenever it rains or whatever, I usually just skate around here. So now that you've seen my house, I'm going to show you some of my cars. This is my favorite. This is my Ferrari Medina. This is the latest and the greatest. You'll see me speeding around Westchester in this thing, but I hardly ever take it to Philly. The trunk is absolutely pathetic. This looks like an airplane engine. And every time I go to 7-Eleven or something, there'll always be some random dude asking me all these questions like, so man, how's the fan belt? You know, it's a good. I'm like, dude, I don't know. I just bought the damn car. So this is the backyard. This is my mini ramp. It's actually not a mini ramp. It's more like a smaller vert ramp because a mini ramp is six feet high and this is an East Coast six foot, which means it's seven feet high. Here I am stuck with a seven foot high mini ramp. So now that you see my cars, my basement, I'm gonna skate my ramp and you guys can get the foul. I'm Ryan Dunn, and this is my home. I can't really call it a crib. It's more like a mission. It's really a piece of crap. But you're more than welcome to come in if you'd like. I'm gonna bring you into my uh, pool room here. We call it that because there's a pool table in it. This is where I stick all my bills, uh, and they usually sit there until someone calls me and yells at me, and then I just pay it over the phone because I hate dealing with the paperwork and licking the things. So if you guys are waiting for money from me, might as well call, because I'm never going to touch that stuff again unless I move it to play some pool. You want to make a phone call? Uh, use this, but uh, we don't have any phone uh, connection anymore because we didn't pay the bill, so use your cell phone. Here's my uh, family room. I guess that's what they call it. That's my family. That's Justin. Uh, he takes care of me. He thinks I'm going to go gay someday, but... I just don't have the heart to tell him I'm not, and I'm living here for free, so who cares? All right, now I'm gonna take you downstairs into the basement, and this is where I live. I don't know why, I just like basements. This is where I sleep, because I like the floor, because it's cool down here, and I just prefer it down here, because it's too hot upstairs. This is my closet I found in an alleyway next to my old house, and it just worked perfect, because you can hang things in it. This is my fur coat. I. I stole from a prop room in L.A. and fell in love with it. And I'm just waiting for the perfect time to wear it. And I guess for the cribs, there's a perfect time. Patchwork fur. Who would have thought it would have been so fashionable? This is all for the women, you see. All right, this is the Audi here. It's a uh, 90 CS Quattro, 94. And I got the uh, stereo done up. Pretty much smells like piss but uh, it dries real good. That's pretty much the fanciest thing I got. That's as good as it gets, folks. So uh, ladies, line on up. Thank you for coming to my, uh, my crib and visiting me and Justin here. We appreciate the time together. Now leave. Seriously, get out. Do something else with your life. I hate you. Bye. Chris Pontius, welcome to my crib. I've been between houses for about 11 years, so I usually just live out of this thing. 
We're gonna start off with the living room. The first thing I'd like to show you is my Jesus cross. I'm not religious, but I figure a lot of people that thieves are, and so I just keep this up so people won't break into my car. But it doesn't always work. I have a security system built into my car. Here's the couch. You look inside. I got a little sick the other day when we were driving. I puked everywhere, all over my CDs. <laughs> Right here, we were driving the other day, and I don't know, everybody puked out of the side of the truck. There's puke all over it. So here we have the bedroom. It's where I keep all my costumes that I wear on Jackass. This is my jock strap, Chief Roberts headdress. These are my fairy wings. Van Halen headband, 1984. We just found this in my front yard. I guess it's a, a used green condom. This bag right here is where all my G-strings are kept. This is the Party Boy USA G-string. The little cup right here, kind of like Steve-O's cheetah, so it makes your wiener look awesome. I don't know, for these hectic times, people seem to like it. None of these G-strings have ever been washed. All right, now I'm gonna show you my closet. Here we've got, <laughs> I don't know what this is. So here's my skateboard. So everybody knows that everybody on Jackass is skaters and we're all rad. So I'll, I'll do a rad skate trick for you. No way I can't land that. <laughs> Forget the skating things. I quit. Here we have my gym. I'm gonna put up some pictures. This is just for inspiration. Okay, so now it's time to work out. <laughs> So this is really the only exercise I do, which works out the buttocks. That's pretty much all I'm interested in. All right now I'm gonna take you to where I go to write all my songs. All right, here's my backyard. This is where I like to come to relax and write songs on my guitar. Here's the only possession in the world I really care about. It's my guitar. It's made of steel. And this is a French song. It's called, I let my mustache to the top. I let my mustache to the top. I let my mustache to the top. So good, huh? Thanks for watching my cribs. Stay sexy.